Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwichuk, and the purpose of today's intermittent reinforcement email message is to examine the issue of adults who need approval from their parents. You'd think that by the time you reach adulthood that you would have given up the idea that you need the approval of your parents. Sadly, too many adults continue to seek the approval of their parents and upset themselves when they don't get it. They hold rigid and extreme attitudes about the criticism their parents may um, show them, the disagreements they have in thought, and, and they then um, believe that if they accept themselves and act upon their own thoughts and values that there's the possibility that they would be shunned. And they can't stand being shunned by their parents. So REVT can be a very liberating philosophy for these types of problems because it teaches adults that they may want the approval of their parents, but they don't necessarily have to have it. It's not like oxygen. Now, it's also prudent for the adult to accept themselves unconditionally with or without the approval of their parents. In today's email, I go through the different types of rigid attitudes people hold about the criticism they might get from their parents, whether they're not getting the affirmation they think they need, the respect they believe they need, whether they are not um, successful in the eyes of their parents and they believe they have to be successful in the eyes of their parents, whether they choose not to live near their parents and feel guilty about abandoning their parents to live the life they want to lead. So I would suggest that you read today's email and look down the list of the different rigid and extreme attitudes that I highlight and zero in on those content areas that you may, that apply to you and that should you relinquish your need for approval in these content areas, you would be liberated and be able to live happily even if your parents disapprove of you. I would also suggest that you attend my Saturday morning conversation hour. It's because I work with a volunteer and it can be very helpful to watch a person who has a real problem struggle with the REBT philosophy struggle in learning it and applying it. And in watching them, you will learn something about how to use this liberating philosophy on your own problems. It's free to attend, of course. It's at 9 a.m. Eastern, and that's 2 p.m. in the UK, 5 p.m. in Moscow, 7.30 in India. And I hope that you will attend, and after about 40 minutes, I then allow the audience to unmute themselves and ask questions on REBT, and it tends to be a good learning opportunity. I would also add that on Christmas Day, I'm going to not work with a volunteer, but I'm going to have a special guest, Dr. Wendy Dryden, and he and I together are going to talk about REBT, how to apply it to various different problems, and uh, answer your questions on REBT. So Christmas Day treat, January, uh, December 25th, and at the same time this weekend, I'll be back at it. I'd like to hold these things regularly, faith permitting, so every Saturday I'm doing it. I hope you can join me. In the meantime, take a look at today's intermittent reinforcement email and see which one of these um, restrictive ideas may apply to you, and then you can use the REBT philosophy to reformulate the idea so that you have healthy negative emotions and live the kind of life that you wish to live.